I'm Ando. Thanks for letting me sleep. Yeah, the kid still passed out. He must be exhausted after yesterday. Oh, good. We're in the outer rim. We shouldn't be too far now from Baron Fall, which will be Grogu's new home for the time being. Have you ever visited? It's a lovely planet. It's covered in forest and grassy meadows. Trading and farming is popular on the planet. And it's inhabited by humans and many species that live in harmony with each other. I think Grogu will be very happy there. When he's older and has completed his flying lessons, Master Luke has informed me that he'll gift Grogu with his own spaceship. He'll be able to travel anywhere in the galaxy with that ship, visit whomever he likes, be whatever he wishes to be. That little guy has his entire life ahead of him. He's seen so much experienced joy and hardship, kindness and cruelty, and yet he hasn't lost his youthful spirit. He's still innocent and sweet. I envy him. Well, your mission is nearly over, Mandalorian. Where will you go? You know, you can stay in Barn Fa with the child. As I mentioned to you in confidence, his training is complete. He'll need some guidance in what to do next with his life. The Jedi can provide him with options and resources, but they cannot provide him with objectivity. Their resistance and the Force is all they know. But you, Mando, you recognize the reality of this world, the hardships, the people, the highs and the lows. You can help him find his way. Think about it. You've been traveling a long time, searching for something. Maybe here with Grogu, You'll find what you're looking for. You'll be able to settle down, find a purpose, maybe even a family. Well, looks like we're here. I'll wake the little guy. Good morning, Grogu. I hope you had a restful sleep. You woke just in time. We're here at your new planet. Welcome, Grogu, to Baran Fa.
Welcome, Tara, Mando, it is so good to see you again. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Grogu, give me a hug. Oh, I missed you so much. How are you feeling? All better? That's a relief to hear. And how were your travels? Yeah, you experienced a lot on your journey. And I could not be prouder of you. You have learned so much from your training. When to use the force, and when not to. I have some exciting news for you, young Padawan. You may not have realized, but this journey you took with Terra and Mando, it was not just for fun or to buy some time until we readied your new home. It was a test, a very important one. Traditionally, Padawans go through five trials to become a Jedi Knight. The trial of flesh, the trial of courage, the trial of spirit, the trial of insight, and the trial of skill. However, the Council can choose to assign alternate trials or missions in place of the traditional test, if they believe it's in the best interest of assessing the initiate. And that is exactly what they did, Grogu. They assigned Terra and the Jedi you visited on your journey to test you, and tested you were. You succeeded in the trial of flesh before you even left Tatooine. You became sick with sand rot, a painful illness for one so little and fragile as yourself. And yet, you handled it with grace and dignity. You then succeeded in the trial of courage, when you had to leave the safety net of your training planet and travel throughout the galaxy with little control of where you went and what to expect. You excelled in this area, never once faltering or showing fear. Indeed, you trusted those you were with to protect you, and that demonstrated true courage and faith. To pass the trial of the spirit, you had to look deep within your soul, engaging in a quest of self-discovery. This journey was enhanced by visiting numerous Jedi across the galaxy, who informed you of the various career paths you could take once becoming a Jedi. You grew wise in these moments, Grogu. You learned that your destiny is not set in stone, nor is it dictated by an external force. Instead, your journey is your own, and only you can choose the path you wish to follow next. The trial of insight required you to see past illusion and lies, and use the force to see a person for what they truly are. You accomplished this when you ferreted out the traitor in our myths, and you confronted them even when others did not believe you. Finally, the trial of skill tested your physical, mental, and emotional strength. You were forced to engage in combat with the dark side. You stayed focused while stormtroopers detained your friends. Your self-discipline in the face of adversity was truly commendable. You saved many lives that day. 
You passed every test, young one, and you have proven yourself ready to become a Jedi Knight. Thank you, Mando, for helping Grogu accomplish this very important mission. Please know it was necessary to keep you in the dark, or else you may have been tempted to help or interfere, with the best intentions, of course. But Grogu had to do this on his own. Still, I knew that with you traveling with him on this mission, he would not fail. Your moral support and companionship mean so much to him. You have a bond, the two of you. One that can never be broken. Well, we must now get you ready for the initiation. Grogu, Mando, and Terra will take their place in the temple while I prepare you. Follow me. You'll want to look your best, so please allow me to comb your hair and freshen up your clothes. Please turn around. There you go. I'll just comb your hair. Doesn't that feel nice? Yeah, I know you have very short hair, but it feels nice to have someone comb it, doesn't it? There you go. I'll just straighten out your cloak. Make sure there's no fuzzes or tears. You've traveled a long way in this cloak. It's still in pretty good shape, though. Yeah. I'd say you look very handsome. Are you ready? We have also taken the liberty of inviting very important Jedi who serve on the council. They wanted to be here when you were initiated. Follow me. Friends, fellow Jedi, we are here today to initiate Grogu into the Jedi Order. Grogu, you have proven yourself to be worthy of becoming a Jedi Knight. You will now pledge allegiance to the Jedi Order. Please repeat after me. I, Grogu, do swear on my honor and on the faith 
of the Brotherhood of Knights. To use the Force only for good. Denying and turning always from the dark side. To dedicate my life to the cause of freedom and justice. If I should fail of this vow, my life shall be forfeit here and hereafter. Very good, Gugu. And now, your master will charge this magical object with force energy and light. Touch it, Grogu, and absorb all the powers that your master wishes to bestow upon you. Feel the force filling your body. Embrace it, for it symbolizes the unbreakable bond between master and student, and affirms the commitment you have made to the Jedi Order. For as you have been taught, so you too will now teach. All who are in attendance, and all the Jedi who have gone before us, we welcome Grogu into the Jedi Order. He is now a Jedi Knight. Congratulations, Grogu, and may the Force be with you always. That was something, huh? Little Grogu is now a Jedi Knight. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this earlier, but I was sworn to secrecy. No, of course not. We did not plan for Grogu to get sick, or to have to confront a traitor. But somehow Master Luke knew that on this journey, he would find the challenges, and he would be prepared. Oftentimes, when Jedi are tested, it's unpredictable. But Grogu succeeded in every way. He's going to be a great Jedi Mando. Now all he has to do is choose his next steps. I hope that with your help and guidance, he'll find the right way. I guess it's time I'm off. No, I'm not staying. I have another mission off planet. I guess this is goodbye, for now, but I hope not forever. I truly enjoyed the time we spent together, and who knows, when I'm back this way next, I hope I'll find you here, with Grogu, and we can catch up. All right. You take care of yourself, Mandalorian. Bye.